up guys how's it going uh, so today we continue our weekly forecast we start with the dollar index uh, we can see the dollar start pushing up as expected and we're gonna only continue to buy the dollar there is no selling uh, at all uh, it's it's pushing up you may get one wave small wave down right here again uh, like this before it, it shoots up right uh, but anyway we're gonna be only looking to buy the dollar so for the gold you can see the gold has been pushing up as we discussed last week uh, the gold the problem is going to end the year at uh, above 2000 guys or 1900 so by january 2021 you expect the gold above 1900 uh, most most likely okay so the longer term for the gold is up not down longer term gold is up do, uh, not down uh, next week we may if the dollar if the dollar is really strong we may get uh, one wave down this wave can be 1740 or can be all the way down to here okay it depends on the price action stock market and investors appetite and all that stuff uh, so anyway most likely what could happen only to here if it doesn't happen then we're gonna be looking to buy so every up wave in the gold every buy take the buy okay longer term gold is going to above two thousand dollar the sbx as expected last week i told you guys we expect a fall in the stock market not really crash it's just the correctional uh, strong waves for the big rally we've had for the last couple months after the coronavirus so this is normal the market need kind of to do a little bit of correction uh, breathing so the investors who did buy from a lower price they start closing positions and stuff what can see what we can see now in the spx it can continue to break down that this red one was the upward channel you guys you can see this red one is the upward channel so what happened it's breaking below that one uh, it can go all the way down to 2860. That's okay because this also will land as to be, uh, you know, this area. If you look at volume, volume profile, support and resistance, or, you know, price action or demand, uh, this is going to be a high high action area. Okay, so we're going to get a lot of action this one uh, to 860. So if this is, is going to break below this one, and that's possible, this also was a previous highs here and support, it may bounce from here. So there's watch out for this it may come all the way down only to 2940 then bounce from here that's one scenario the second scenario if it does break down all the way here to 8 to 860 uh, this is a possible strong area to bounce back from here so watch out those two levels that's number one okay and that's number two eyes on those two levels here to bounce from here or to bounce from there if you're in the cell uh, move your stop will take profit also we talked about the stock market will open in a gap down last week it did open in a gap also gold to open in a gap up it did happen so all was fantastic so if you're in the sell you can move your stop loss or you take profit uh, if you waiting to buy then you wait for price action here or there okay guys i hope this cover the spx for the next week the dax is the same scenario you can see this was like an upward channel right here it's breaking below this one it did a retest okay you can see there is this uh, dotted line right here and that dotted line looks like a new channel has been forming so if you look at this one this way that's one wave and that's a second wave right here to the top of it okay like this then now maybe we will be running to the third wave which is like this one right now okay so we may come all the way down to uh, almost eleven thousand or ten thousand nine hundred uh, watch out the dax is pointing to the downside next week not to the upside if you want to join the sell, you have to use a stop loss and you have to trade in London or New York session. Okay, don't trade probably any other time. Uh, then you need to be uh, watching closely, okay, because we expect a reverse either from here at 11,600 or 10,800. One of the two levels probably is going to bounce from, so you need to keep an eye on those two uh, levels. Uh, you guys, you can see the Apco trading system, which is available on our website. Uh, it's really nice to trade with. Uh, different time frames and stuff uh, you get nice good signals sometimes you get you know range of market uh, but also when you get a good signal like this one or that one uh, then it does work out really good uh, the DAO is just like the SBX and the DAX they're very correlated so it's gonna move the same uh, direction you just uh, need to keep eye at the 20 we, we talked about the 25 200 last week and even the live forecast we said sell this one to here we made above 600 uh, points in the Dow cell so we're gonna keep the eye at the 24200 level okay 24200 this is a possible bounce from area and uh, New Zealand USD we're still holding the cell forecast for this one to continue pushing 
uh, down. We talked about selling the New Zealand after the news. That was really nice. We made a live video about that. So that was fantastic. The Australian also should keep pushing down. If you do break the 68 level, then we may be landing at 6660. This is also correlated to the stock market. Uh, the bound has been going fantastic, guys. So it was going really, really nice. You can see what we can get. If you see this wave right here from the top down here, actually, we may get this one down here like this. So maybe visiting the 1.2 level very soon. Uh, possibly what could, have, what could happen is a small push up, maybe 50, 60, 70 bips. Then we continue to come down. I will not buy the bound dollar now. Uh, I will wait. If I can see price action later at 1.2, then it's going back up. Then I may buy in later on this wave. See that wave here? Maybe I buy this one only to this target. Uh, but for now, bound dollar is a sell for me. We have sold from the top here. We talked about in the live forecast about this bush up then selling again here. Uh, so it's going good so far. Uh, USC crude, we can uh, expect to continue coming down a little bit. It's been bouncing from 41. So buyers are not investing in the oil above 41 now. So we'd expect to come down to 34 area. Okay, It may go down further down if the stock market is falling. It may go for, further down to 30. Okay. Uh, that is possible. It's not too, uh, I would say 30%. This may happen. 30%. 30%. Okay. So, guys, keep the eye on this level also. Uh, so, I will not buy now at all. If you want to buy, you have to wait here to see a price action or to wait here to see a price action bouncing back. Then you take the up wave after it bounced from a support level. And then, if the ABC system or APCO system is giving you a, a signal like this one, it's a beautiful signal. See that? So, if you guys want to download the system, it's available on our website. Uh, Euro dollar, we talked about this. We have put this uh, shaded uh, background before the price does come down here. And we talked about the time and the price levels, okay? The time need to reach at certain, the price need to reach, to reach certain level at certain time. So we have put this together. When it did come so fast down, it did have to do some correction up and down. Then it bouncing back here. It's making correction. So what we expect now for the big picture we have been saying sell the euro dollar from 1.14 uh, this is way way overvalued it does belong down here it does not belong to this area so we've been saying that for the last three weeks okay so what could happen you may get one wave down one up one down retest of this area then keep pushing back uh, down all the way here okay guys so that's what we can uh, see uh, usd cad this may keep pushing up i would not recommend to buy usd cad wait we want to sell the higher price 1.1.41 or so so wait for the usd cad just to avoid that so it may go it may be going 200 bips 250 bips to the upside but if you are selling australian you australian usd or new zealand usd or bound usd there is no need to go also and buy usd cad you know just don't risk everything at the same direction uh, bound frank we still hold the negative uh, direction in the bound franc so as long as it's this is not breaking to the upside here or even to here uh, we can see this coming all the way down to 1.11 uh, level so watch out this bound franc may continue to push further down down okay uh, euro australian did not move much lately what we can what we want is to trade is a break out of this box to the upside so don't trade it now as long as it's in this is range in range in box here is not good if it does break here with nice price action, then we want to take this buy. Uh, then we possibly we take the target at 1.66 area. Then later, if we can see a fall down, we want to sell it here. Okay, don't sell in the way up. Sell it after it goes back. It goes up. Then it's coming down. It does break back down. Then you sell it right here, and your stop loss will be at the top peak. Okay, uh, you're in New Zealand. The same scenario. So just you guys, this is the system. This was what I was talking about. If if it do, if it does go up, let's say here like here, okay, then you don't go and you go sell it here. You wait till it comes back. The the ABC system is giving you a signal. You take the signal, breaking the uh, resistance level, then bang, and your stop loss. Our system gives you also the location of the stop loss uh, right here at the top of this uh, one. Okay, guys. Uh, the same thing. The scenario here was the ABC system. It gives you beautiful signals, right? You can see it's really nice system. Uh, very clear, it gives you the buying, the selling, everything. I use the Mex Mexican. If you guys remember a long time ago, I told you that was a really nice sell. The price did crash like from 25,000 almost to 21. It was really nice. And now there is a potential for a good buy signal. The system is still start to give in a buy signal actually from here. Now this may be keep pushing up to 24.4. So watch out for this, maybe a potentially good one. 
use this are maybe the same scenario but i don't recommend to trade both of them at the same time it will be too risky a euro japanese yen here this may uh, come down uh, next week uh, you know uh, about 150 bips or so uh, that was the end of our forecast thanks guys uh, if you guys are interested in our trading systems we have the abc and apco and the trend analyzer uh, we have uh, the bsa uh, meter uh, so if you guys are uh, interested they're available on our website www.fxmarketstrategy uh, you guys are most welcome to visit and check it out thank you have a wonderful day